welcome, welcome. I'm Sunny, thanks for joining me today. So last week we looked at a waltz, and the figure we looked at was a chasse from promenade into a natural turn. So we're gonna get a little more techie today um, to help that figure look and feel better for you. If you like today's video, definitely like, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, or future content you want me to share on YouTube, just post in the comments below, and I look at every one of those comments, and I, I'll put something up for you. So, let's get started. Um, just a quick review, we looked at a chasse from Promenade of Natural, from a man that looks like this, and out, we did a chasse, and a natural turn. For lady, did a chasse from promenade into a natural turn. Okay, so how to make this puppy look better? Please, I want to talk about inside and outside of partner in a little more detail. Almost all the leads open this thing up to outside of partner a step or two too early. So, if I were to mechanically go through, I'm in promenade in step one. I'm in closed position in step two. I'm in closed position in step three. I'm still in closed position in step four. So turn this left way into your girl, not here. Then the next step, when I drag the foot through, I'm gonna swivel it out and finish my natural outside of part. So the common mistake I see and feel for a man is he does right in promenade. He closes her up and then he goes back to open right away. And that kind of puts her in your armpit. So think of dancing more like a typical chasse where you're actually really going to get around her there. So promenade, close, close, turn this foot in, then swivel it to close. And that's going to put you in a nice position to finish with the correct sway as well. Let me show that from one more angle. I'll go down my advance this way. I'm in promenade. I'm closing, I'm closing, I'm closing. I'm gonna swivel the feet as they pass. Now I'm outside of partner. With Matt to turn out with the right foot, this is gonna put you in a position to give a rightward sway, which is what you want in your natural turn. Drive around her and then Finish dragging the foot, and you'll end up swaying left going into your next figure. Okay. We talked a little about timing nuance last time. So if I'm doing the syllabus, it's syllabus from ASTD book timing. It's not really advanced, but it works. One, two, and three, four, five, six. A little bit more advanced for competitive dancers will be one, two, and three, and four, five, six, and. So delay that final step with each figure. I want to talk a little bit about the sway that we're doing. So we're on promenade. I'm left out here, my nose into the wind looking at promenade. I'm gonna have a pendulum swing at this point, toe flat, Heel. Let me exaggerate that. Toe flat. Heel. Common mistake I see is too early of a rise in the chasse. So it's not up and down. It's going to be pendulum. Down, 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 up, down. And then the rightward sway that we just addressed with natural. Pendulum. Rightward sway. Stay low as you close the feet, don't pop up, and you'll finish at the very, very end going into your next figure, probably spinter with the left worst way. Let me show that from another angle. Pendulum swing. Stay low. Stay low. Finish with your metronome and swing in that final set. Pendulum. Rightward sway. Drag the foot and you'll finish with the leftward sway into 
hesitation, whatever's coming next. Okay, uh, doo -doo -doo. ladies, let's talk about our part, what we can do to make this look and feel better. So, if I were to mechanically go through what we did last week, I'm in promenade. I have a heel, side blows back on toes, naturals, toe, 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 back, side, together. And if I were doing that ISTD book timing, kind of more syllabusy, one, two, and three, four, five, six. Um, in real life, ladies, I need you to finish the figures even later than he does. That's going to give him the ability to change his mind. And he's going to need to do that in competition, on a um, competition floor, and a social dance floor where he's navigating. So your timing, a little bit more advanced, instead of that syllabusy timing, is going to be one, two, and three, and up, four, five, six, and up. So I'm closing my feet even later than he does. I'll show that again. Um, and I'll demonstrate. Four, five, six, one, two, and three, and up. Four, five, six, and up. Okay. I'll show this way, ladies. I'm in promenade position. So ladies, make sure when you're in promenade, we tend to get really excited. We feel that lead really early. We want to show, oh, I know we want to go and I run there. Take your time. I want to feed my knees into him so he can feel the front of my left knee and his back knee. That's gently giving him a gentlest of nudges so he knows I'm ready to roll. So four, five, six. Keep your head left of your butt, whether you're a promenade or closed, that doesn't matter. We don't want to do a rainbow head here. Head is left of my keister. One, two, and three, and. I'm going to gradually close my head. Now, shall say I'll show that again. Head left of my butt. And one. Gradually close the head. Keeping it left of the butt. Okay. So I'll show that second half of natural just so you can see how left my head is. Back, side, together. And the more left you are, ladies, you're going to have to lift this side longer. So pretend like you're holding a fruit basket up here the whole time. So we never want to drop a side. It's going to be a long side and a longer side. Okay? Okay, ladies, let me show that again. And when you're in promenade, ladies, make sure to look outside of the hand. Don't look at your hand. It looks kind of cross-sided when you're dancing. So I want to look outside of the hand. And one. Gradually close the head. So I get, don't finish closing my head until the very end of the shell say. Two and three and. And my natural turn. And ladies, my big suggestion here for today is anchor the turn. What does that mean? Stay extra low, back lead him through it. I get such an early lead on a natural turn, you're not back leading at all. I know here, oh, I know where he's going. So I'm really gonna stay low, and I'm gonna go back on the outside edge of this foot and off the ball, outside edge, and have a pendulum swing here to help him swing around. That'll make you feel 10 times lighter in his arm. I'll show that again from this angle, natural turn, outside edge, low, pendulum. You really can't overdo that lowering action and dragging the foot. That's what's going to create your pretty shape as opposed to trying to shape upstairs. That'll be really heavy in his arm. This would be much lighter in his arm. Let me show from another angle, natural turn. Outside edge. Roll. Take this step shorter than you think it should be so you can really anchor it. Pendulum. And don't get to math or right. You'll fight them for body space and lose the war. Outside edge. Low. Squeeze and stay even lower than him. Um, so those are some easy fixes, guys, to um, help your shot safe from promenade into natural turn. Um, Feel a little 
more graceful and look better. <laughs>